Hey ya! It's time to learn how to do a simple main menu. We will also add the keyboard focus with the arrow effect. In this case, that will be the hammer effect. Let's go! We'll start with a simple plan. We need to split our screen using VBox container control. It's a special node to hold other controls in the vertical order. In general, the control nodes are used for the UI elements like buttons, texture buttons, labels, and so on. Our main VBox container will have a center container to center all elements inside. In our case, it will be just a main title label. The second part of the main VBox container will be another VBox container to hold the buttons. It will take another half of the screen. And finally, inside we will have a few buttons which will grab control focus. Only one element can have the focus, so it's a great feature to use it. Easy, right? So grab the keyboard, the mouse, and let's go! Let's create a new scene, will be main menu, and the root node, it will be node. Let's call it main menu, and add a first VBox container. Now let's use the layout and the full rect to get the full screen. Now let's add a center container with the label. Check the text value to the best game title ever. 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 Hmm, perfect. And now let's go to the center container, go to rect, and the minimum size of the Y value need to be the half of the screen. In my case, it will be 135. Of course, you can set up the values here, project settings, window, and here you have the width and height of your project. Next thing that you need to add is the another VBox container for the buttons. So let's add VBox container and do the same thing as in the center container, so set up the minion size in the Y. Now let's add a texture button and the rich text label for it. The rich text label will be used for the text and we will use the BB code. BB code is very powerful because by using special commands you can align, change colors and add special effects like wave, tornado, fade to the text. More about it you can find on the Gadoo documentation page. We will use only the center option. So let's center the text by center, text button, and of center. Now let's take care of the texture button size, so go to the rect. On the mini size I will use the 20 pixels, which is great for my menu. Here in the rich text label, let's go to full rect. So now this full rect have the 20 pixels because we set this here on the minimum size. So now if I duplicate it, you can see we have a lot of buttons in the vertical order. So delay this and go to VBox container and in the alignment you can just do the center and you have the center button, but now the center will work like this. So if you have a lot of buttons, all of them will be centered. Now let's create a new scene for the button by right click and save branch as scene. That will be the menu button and I will save it in the scenes menu save and in the new scene let's add the arrows in my case that will be the little sprite hammers and change the name to the left arrow and of course to the right arrow the left one need to be flipped horizontal by animation no the offset flipped horizontal the position is doesn't matter because we will use the code for it. By speaking of the code, let's add the script. And the first form will look like this. In the script, we have two exported values. The first one is a text that will be displayed on the screen. The second is a margin space from the middle of the texture button for the arrows. But I will back to this in a moment. In the ready function, we have to set up text, show arrows and set focus mode true. 
So, setup text is just setting up the text from exported value using the center commands for the BB code. The set focus mode true is needed to grab the focus from the keyboard. In the show arrows function, we will loop through the left and right arrow. For each of them, we will make sure that is visible by visible is equal to true. The next line is for the Y position. We'll take the rectangle global position from texture button and add one first size of the rectangle. It's working fine for my case, but of course you can experiment with this value. Next, we need to take the center X of the rectangle by using the rectangle position and add a half of full size in the X axis. Now we can easily manage the distance from the center for the arrows by using the exported value. So now let's go to the main menu and set up the exported values like start for the start button and here let's go with the 70. It's no matter. Let's start up the project and we can see that we have working exported values. And now it's time for a nice trick in the Gadoo engine. You can use your code in the editor. To do this, you need to go to the script, add a keyword tool and also a process function with the engine.editor hint. Everything in this condition will be done in the editor. So look at this. You can go to the button and merging is working. And now you can easily just duplicate these buttons and fulfill the rest of information. It's time for the sponsor of this video. It's my cat who loves the code. She's also helping me with making a new game and to record short videos on my Twitter page. Like the video if you're still here and let's go further. The next thing that we need to do is just to set up the good margins for the buttons and also the display text and the names of the nodes. We'll also add the script to main menu to add a simple pressed signals to it. The last thing that you need to check is to go to menu button to reach text label and get the mouse filter to ignore because the mouse from the reach text label can block the signals for the texture button. So by ignore, they will be ignoring. So now let's test it uh, if everything is working okay. And if I click start, there we, we have the start pressed when the option option is pressed and exit exit is pressed. Now let's play with the keyboard focus. So let's go to the script of the main menu. And in the ready function, let's do the start dot grab focus. So the start button will be the first with the autofocus. Next, let's go to the button script. And in the script, we need to change the show arrows to the hide arrows. It will be an easy function just for hiding the arrows. So for the arrow, left and right arrow, visible is false. So by the default, all the arrows will be false. And now we need to do something after the focus. So let's go to the texture button. And in the node, we have signals for the focus entered and focus exit. So let's add this. When the focus is entered, let's just show the arrows. And when the texture button is exit, let's just hide the arrows for the user feedback. The another signal that we can use is mouse entered and it's here. And after the mouse entered, Everything what we need to do is grab focus. The last thing that we need to do in this tutorial is go to the main menu. And here for the button, we need to set the neighbors. So for example, when we are focused on the start button and press the down key, we need to go to the option. So the neighbors for the option, for the start, sorry, will be the option. So neighbor button will be the option. And when we press the up key, that will be the exit. So let's do this. And let's do this the same for the option and the exit. And just start the project. And you can see everything is working. When I'm pressing the up key, everything 
it's going to up and down, of course the down. The last thing that I need to mention, that this key from the UI are connected to the project setting input mat and this UI left, right, up and down. So if you will press the button from here, it, everything will work. And, and of course for the accept, I have the enter key, so start and we have the start pressed option, we have the option pressed, exit and the exit is pressed. Tara, everything is working. Of course, you can make this a lot prettier. For example, add a sprite, add a texture for the sprite and transform it to the... probably it's okay. And change the order or visibility. And tada! It's a lot better. Now the last thing that I want to show you is to change the fonts. You can use this site to find a nice fonts. For example, for pixels, I'm like to using Minecraft. So let's do that. In the label, let's go to the custom fonts, new dynamic fonts, go to the fonts, load, load the downloaded font. In my case, it will be resource fonts Minecraft. And in the settings, you can change the settings. What a surprise. And make the game a little shorter. Now let's go to the menu button, go to the rich text label and do the same thing like for the normal fonts. New dynamic font, 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 load, font, resource font and go on. And probably that's all. So thank you for watching and remember that you can always Find this code in the GitHub page. More in the description. Of course, you can make also a comment with your problem or maybe just what do you like to learn. I hope you learned something today and have a nice day, evening and so on. Do -do 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 -do.